Hello, I'm here at Embedded World 2025, and I'm on the Envent Scroft stand with Udo Weiss, who is the Business Development Manager. So thank you very much for joining us. Could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the company? Yes, of course. So, yeah, my name is Udo Weiss. I'm Business Development Manager, and I'm with the company since more than 30 years. I was working in multiple roles, field application engineering, project management, and now business development. And, yeah, talking about Invent, so we are a company who have products like cassettes, cases and enclosures for the electronic industries. And our slogan is we connect and protect the electronics from our customers. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's basically what we are doing. And how would you say you differentiate yourselves from your competitors? Yeah. So it's basically really three things. It's the people, it's our services and the products. The people, we have really a good balance of young people with a lot of new ideas, experienced people, which make sure that we get really good products and yeah, reliable products. Then regarding the services, we have a lot of online configurators, great uh, websites where, uh, where you can get the uh, documentation, user manuals and so on. And last but not least, when you look to the full range of products, uh, we can offer really everything from the simple front panel to the sub rack, to the cabinet cooling solution, air to water heat exchangers, and serving multiple vertical markets like railway, test and measurement, medical, telecom, and yeah, also defense, whatever it is. Brilliant, a fantastic introduction, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Okay, so now we've, we've moved on to, to this area to chat about this product. So you've launched a new desktop design chassis. So what drove the development of this and, and what customer needs does it address? Yeah, so we have been asked by many customers to have a more fresh design where we also have the capability really to do nice printings and yeah, to include more features uh, yeah, for the product, yeah, right, right intrinsic already in the product. And how does it balance design, functionality, and technical performance? Yeah. So there are already a lot of features implemented in the basic design. So uh, the, the side walls are a little bit taller, so you don't need tip-up feeds because the air for cooling the electronics can go already directly uh, underneath and, and go in. So we have also included a nice stacking feature. So when you put the two units on top of each other, yeah, they are safely protected. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's uh, another thing. And what is really best, customers have the opportunity to go to a configurator and create these kind of sizes within four and five minutes. Yeah? So you get the product and uh, they will get directly a quote after, after 48 hours and get the product then yeah, within two weeks. Brilliant. And, and tell me, what key industries or applications will benefit the most from this? Yeah. So, uh, when you look at the yeah, printed version, so it's a lot uh, requested by the test and measurement industry. So, oscilloscope, for example, or any other kind of test and measurement equipment could be also considered uh, yeah, in the automotive yeah, to have some, some equipment installed there, as well uh, as applications probably in medical. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, now I'd like to chat about some of the new liquid cooling solutions that, that you've released for, for enclosures. Um, with increasing power densities, liquid cooling is, is becoming more relevant, as, as you know. So what makes your liquid cooling solution so unique? Yeah, so very often when talking about liquid cooling, it's air to water heat exchangers. But uh, this only works if you have a closed and sealed cabinet. Yeah? But there are solutions when you have, for example, an open cabinet in test and measurement, where you don't have this opportunity and possibility. So there, you're still sometimes struggling if you have a high power uh, unit with, with the temperature. And what we have created here is a, is a nice thing. So we are conditioning the air uh, in a way that the air entry to the system which is located above that unit is already preconditioned. So if you have, for example, a an, an, uh, an temperature, environmental temperature of 30 or 40 degrees, it's already pre-cooled, so the air will be 
entering then the above system with 10, 20 degrees centigrade. And with that, the big advantage is you can increase really the installed power in the chassis. Yeah? So if you're struggling, for example, having 1500, 1800 uh, watt installed in such kind of system, with that solution you can increase it easily to 3000 watts and a little bit more. And, and how does this solution compare to traditional air cooling in terms of efficiency and long-term reliability? So regarding efficiency, uh, I already said it, so we, you can double basically the, the power in the, in the system above yeah, to, to still have the same cooling because you're lowering right. or you're increasing the, the uh, amount of the delta T. And what is really something extraordinary here, so we have the compressor and the closed loop system. So the customer don't need any external uh, liquids um, yeah, uh, from, from the building infrastructure. So it's a complete closed loop system. You just need to plug it in and it's, it's, yeah, it's, it just works. Excellent. Yeah, no Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so EMC interference is, is a critical concern in embedded systems. So I'm interested to hear what solutions you've launched for, um, for sub-rack shielding. Yeah, so EMC indeed becomes more and more important because, let's say, in earlier days, you know, the processors were, were not that powerful, the frequency were rather low, but now the electronics goes more and more to, to higher frequencies, and this means basically the gaps need to be smaller, the holes, everything, and uh, to really protect the electronics, the sensitive electronics of our customers, uh, we, we invented really solutions which make it much more efficient. So mm -hmm. here on the left side you see, it's an example, uh, the common EMC concept which is used yeah, for many, many years and also by, by our competition and other, other vendors. But we thought, what can we do really to increase it? And here we have uh, a two-level concept with smaller holes and here an additional grid. And by that, we're really increasing the efficiency of, of uh, the shielding efficiency at 40 gigahertz massively. So it's 160% mm -hmm. more than with such kind of concept. Okay, and, and how do these enhancements help your customers meet stringent, uh, you know, uh, compliance and reliability standards? Yeah, so uh, first of all, when you're looking yeah, to railway as an example, yeah. uh, there you, you have to make sure that there is, yeah, we, we hear a lot about cyber security, for example. So you make sure that no, no external uh, yeah, source can really yeah, influence your electronics mm -hmm. to, to yeah, make signals to go wrong and, and so on. So this, this really helps the customers and so they, will, they feel safe yeah, and have a reliable product. Excellent, thank you very much. Okay, so we've moved over to, to this area of your booth now. So can you walk us through your new hardware concept for a fully equipped test stand and, and tell us what makes it so unique? Yeah. So basically, for a test stand it's important, first of all, that it's really flexible, yet you can uh, have several sizes, you, you have the offering to, uh, to apply multiple devices into, into the cabinet and yeah, to meet the requirements of the customers. That could be uh, where do the cables come, on, uh, come, come into the cabinet, how to, to connect your devices under test and so on. Okay, so let's do a little bit of, it, of a deeper dive. What level of modularity and customization do you offer yeah, to support yeah. customers? So what we have here as an example is a cabinet which is 800 millimeter wide. Yeah? So uh, for only the 19 inch plane, you're fine with 600 millimeter wide cabinet. But here we have done the 800 millimeter wide version with a nice deco frame. And this gives you multiple options. First of all, we have here, as an example, uh, the possibility to have connectors to connect uh, the infrastructure towards the devices under test. Furthermore, we have here uh, a power distribution unit with safety functionality. And in this specific case, uh, when customers want to have it rather in the lower section, they still need the emergency push button, which, be, which needs to be in a prominent space. Yeah? So we have separated that functionality. What is also key and yeah, in almost every test and hill test uh, cabinet is you have a PXIE system. So we are offering several kind of PXIE systems with data throughput starting from one gigabyte uh, per second up to 24 gigabytes per second. So mm -hmm. with X8 connections, PCI Express Gen 3. Talking about PCI Express, so also here we're showing as an example CPCI Serial already with PCI Express Gen 4, so which allows much higher data speed. Mm -hmm. 
And here are some examples. We have uh, capabilities to do uh, digital printing. This allows customers to reflect their corporate design, to make our product their product, really to show their, their, their colors, everything they need. Mm -hmm. And then there are some, some other equipment, for example, not, not big things, yeah, but a simple drawer where you can which you can, uh, yeah, where you can put in some okay. mess equipment, yeah, or if you have uh, products off the shelf, which needs to be integrated in the cabinet, we can also do the adoption. Okay, fantastic. And, and finally then, we've, we've covered a lot of areas of your expertise here. Can we expect any further innovations from you in the near future? Yes, of course. And yeah, these fairs and, and uh, the interviews are always a great source to get new ideas. Yeah? So when talking to the customers, we are showing our new solutions and yeah, by talking to them, we create new ideas. Yeah? And this will bring us to more, more interesting products and yeah, keep on innovations going on. Yes, definitely. Well, thank you very much for that excellent overview. You're it's welcome. been a real pleasure speaking with you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you.